as you can see wheels the GS750 is here Hey guys, welcome back to Beanie Biker. Just been out for a ride. As you can see, it's a little bit damp out there. Caught in a very heavy rain. Um, I'm back home now. So um, let's discuss my bike, shall we? Uh, new upgrades on it. Uh, new wheels, new tires, new mirrors, um, protector. But we'll go through them individually. So this is my new protector, just pops off and on, nice and easy, like so. I say like so, With one hand maybe not. <laughs> oh, the other side's come out now. It is nice and easy when you've got two hands. So that's, um, that's just to protect the lens, as we know how much they cost, you know, they're, they're nearly a thousand pounds or something, so uh, don't wanna get that damaged. Also, That's on the 850 GSA. Just change the screen. Got this on Amazon for about 30 quid, I believe. Or well, probably less than that, actually. Fits well. Can adjust it up so I've got a bigger screen. Protects me well in the rain. Um, everything, this is what everyone's looking for. The, uh, the wheels. So these are the new wheels. Um, upgraded from cast wheels to spoked, as you can see. They're very nice. Um, don't really feel much difference between them. I know they're stronger and they're better for off-road, which is why I bought them. Okay, then we've got the crash bars from uh, SW Motec. Okay, this bike's been dropped a few times already. Not any high speed drops or anything, but um, just a few little drops. So, and then uh, the bike busters as well. They've actually protected the bike very well. I'm happy with those. So they protected the lever as well. Fell down, it's got pushed up a little bit, but the lever was protected, which is uh, it's what counts, you know. And let's see, what else we got? The position has been moved for the GPS unit. GPS unit used to be here. I've now adjusted it and it's up here. I've not had any issues with the, uh, the GPS unit yet. I've had the Nav 6 now for a year and no glitches. Also, change the mirrors. So these are the, um, I can't think of that, mirror backs. So basically you hit the ground and they just bump up, so they're not gonna break. They're expensive, but as I've already dropped, there you go. Double, double take mirrors. Okay, I've got the SWO Tech uh, bash plate as well. That came in handy this morning. If we have a look under there. Going off road this morning, had a few stones thrown up, could even pinging off the bottom. So, and that's not bad because it goes all the way seat cover not gonna get your bum wet when it rains it's all gonna just go underneath falls down but in the in the summer it works I got this for 18 pounds on Amazon um, nippy Normans they sell them for nearly a hundred quid and the fact that my mates got a nippy Normans one there is absolutely no difference between them so you do the math 18 pounds or 100 pounds and then we go on to um, the tank protector this is from uh, Motor Graphics. It's protecting, as you can see, there's the scuff marks up here. And I've been standing up and stuff and leaning on the tank. I'm not getting the scratches, I'm not getting the scratches on the bike itself. So, uh, I've got a couple of mounts here. So my quad lock mount there with the anti-vibration on it. Come around this side here to have a look. There you go. So it's not going to naff up your camera on your phone when you're using it. 
Sometimes I switch between the uh, the phone or the sat nav, depending what I want to use. So, and I've got another one here just for my camera. If I want to stick a camera on the front, um, as you can see, my camera's on the back at the moment, just facing behind. Um, I've also got a camera here, and there's another camera on the front of the bike. There we go. Um, trying to think what else. I think that's it. So, I'll zoom out in there. Also, I removed the, uh, as you can see down there, removed the big lump sound resonator down there. That saved quite a bit of weight with this little dominator mid pipe. So, it makes this bike sound so much better as well. I haven't even changed the end can because the sound's that good just by taking off that sound resonator. So I'm happy with that. Um, luggage system, I've got the Vario cases. So that's the, uh, that's the case on the back. I've also got the side panniers, but they're not on the bike at the moment. Got a cushion on the back for the, uh, the daughter or the wife. He said that's improved the bike a lot when they're sitting on it. So these are the Karoo Freeze. They're a 50-50 tire. Um, I've done probably about 70 miles on them so far, so they're still not scrubbed in properly. But I have taken the bike off-road today. So they're coming back. Plenty of rain, so they're nice and clean again. <laughs> I've got nice deep tread. On the, uh, on the tarmac, they're a bit slippery at the moment, but when I took it off-road, they dug in very well. I had plenty of grip, which is, uh, which is good. That's what they're for. This is the back tyre. 